The Tigers in trouble? In short, yes, but how much? Our Aaron Wilson joins us with an exclusive interview with a reporter who broke the story. Well, the Memphis basketball program has faced a lot of adversity this past season, and it may be no end in sight. News broke of the severity of the NCAA violations this weekend, and I have the writer who broke the story, Stephen Johnson from the Daily Memphian, here to explain it all. So, Stephen, in simpler terms, what are these seven violations that Memphis is facing? Some of the most significant charges of what we know that wasn't redacted, a lack of institutional control, um, a failure to monitor, and I think one significant charge is basically they're more or less saying that Memphis obstructed their investigation by deleting uh, some data from some emails, not being forthright with some text messages, conversations. So if you need to just a quick summary, basically they're more or less saying Memphis was wild and, and when they came to investigate. Memphis wasn't being cooperative. Yeah, so with Memphis able to gain such great momentum at the end of the season, do you think this will impact recruiting in any way, negative or positive? I think maybe in the immediate future, like right now, this class, it could have an impact. Um, you know, they don't have any high schools committed right now. But, and, you know, Penny also told us that he wants to hit the transfer portal hard. So I think it might have an impact this year. But a couple of other teams that are kind of dealing with their own investigation, Kansas has a top five class. Louisville and Arizona have top 15 classes. So I think Memphis might feel it like right now, like this class in terms of high school prospects. But I think going forward, as long as they have Penny Hardaway here, um, I think they're, they're not going to struggle to get recruits. So it just really depends on how significant the penalties are. But I don't think long-term, big picture-wise, these uh, the allegations and whatever sanctions would kind of knock Memphis off what it was been doing, to, being able to do recruiting-wise these last couple of years. Yes, yeah, Stephen, and we know that the school has responded to the NCAA, even saying that one of the enforcement agents went beyond his scope, causing Memphis to sort of question the integrity of the investigation. Do you think this will at all help Memphis when it comes to the NCAA? Um, it's something they'll have to consider, but I'm not sure if it will really help the university much. They're going to go down swinging, but as I said, based on what I've been reading from right now, and there's still some more to be kind of viewed, I still think they'll be, they're going to get some penalties and it might be tough to kind of, kind of swallow initially. Okay, so what does this mean for this coming season? Well, this season, I think you might just want to swallow it and just be like, what, whatever happens this season, we know there, we already knew there were going to be some guys heading out with the transfer portal and things like that. This might push a couple more guys out, but I think overall, I, th I think this year might be more of a wash. You might just chuck it up. This might be the year you got the postseason ban or you, you lose most of the scholarships. But going forward, kind of like you said, I think most fans, as good as, good as the season kind of ended, we knew that sooner or later this, uh, this shoe was going to drop. But going forward, I think what Penny was able to do in the NCAA tournament and when they're able to kind of get back and start recruiting like we know he can do, I think Memphis is still on the, uh, on the positive track. As long as these sanctions aren't, aren't, don't put just a significant dent on the program. Like I said, I don't think they will. I think they will be will be strict. I think they will be tough. But I, I don't think it's anything that Penny won't be able to overcome based off of what he showed us these last couple of years. Okay, and last question. As an insider, do you think the violations have anything to do with Cody Toppert possibly leaving as an assistant coach with Memphis for LSU? Well, probably so. I mean, but at the same time, I can also tell you that Cody was looking to leave even before this news came out. Cody has uh, ambitions to be a head coach like most coaches do. He interviewed for, I believe, at least two jobs last year. So um, the possibility of him leaving was always on the table. LSU was also dealing with the same, uh, you know, kind of same allegations. So I wouldn't say, so I don't know how much the allegations uh, played a part in it, but uh, I think he just wants to keep moving up. And I think LSU might be a, uh, I think he might have viewed LSU as a better opportunity for him to get that head coaching job that he wants. Steven Johnson with the Daily Memphian, thank you for your time tonight.